this is story time. I'm gonna tell you about yesterday. Um, yesterday was the first event that I ever organized and hosted, the H Play Munch. Um, how this started? Well, I really wanted to start up the community because I've been uh, living the lifestyle and I've been active online for a while now and there is no local community. So I decided to uh, message some people and there was one um, relatively in inactive uh, H-Play group um, on FatLife. So I posted in that group, like, is anyone interested in, like, having a munch or something? And some people were pretty interested, and I actually messaged a lot of people uh, on the site and um, decided to uh, ho host an event. I messaged a place and I reserved the um, cellar. Yeah, the basement. They have a room in the basement that you can close off, and I booked it. So, I expected, like, most, like, uh, not more than, like, six people or something to show up. But we ended up having, like, 15 or 16 people in total. It was so much fun. I bought, I brought a bunch of board games, and we played a game called um, Sege, which uh, I think it's something like Guess Who, and uh, you, ha you have a card on your forehead, but we, don't, we didn't actually have enough headbands because there were so many people playing, and we had to take uh, characters from other board games so that everyone could have a character on the board, and uh, those of us with glasses just put the card kind of behind the glasses, and um, it was so much fun. We ended up being there for like hours, um, like five five hours. It was only supposed to be from like 7 p.m. to 10 or 11 ish, but we were there <laughs> until like almost midnight, um, and it was so much fun. I I had no idea so many people would be interested. Um, I even met some people that I already know. And it's like, hey, I had no idea that you were interested in this. And they were like, yeah, I had no idea that you were interested in this. So, there are a lot more people interested than you would think. But it's really hard to find out who is. Because then you'd have to bring it, bring it up. Uh, I brought Teddy Tiger with me. And, uh... He helped break the ice. Um, uh, I actually had <laughs> a padding mishap happen. Um, so I've been saving my cute printed uh, diapers for um, special occasions because I would have to buy them in bulk and I'm currently saving up for that order, and um, in that order I have some Taika Bulls builders because um, they were out of the overnights in the Waddler, waddler. Uh, so I decided to use my Taika Bulls waddler to try and like determine if they are worth it. So I, um, I'm gonna get some stuff so that I can demonstrate. <laughs> Okay, so just try and pretend that this is a Taika Bulls Waddler, because I don't have another one to demonstrate. Um, I decided to add a couple of stuffers just to be completely safe um, during the entire event, because it was like a four or a five hour event. So I took uh, one of these Abrilet Maxi stuffers and I put it like in the middle. And then I took the other one, and I put it like this, up against, uh, inside of the leg guards. Uh, no, the, the standing leg guards. And, um, 
this basically happened. Uh, like you can see, the, the stoppers are pretty much above the leg guards, which did not help. <laughs> I um, hang on. <laughs> All right. So yeah, um, I was wearing these on top. Um, they're kind of like the pants that are kind of tight, and they're supposed to like suck in your stomach or something, but they're like really big, so they don't do that with me. Um, so because obviously I was just wearing these socks and this dress. And I didn't want to, like, accidentally flash someone, so I wore these on top, and I leaked. In the first small wedding, like, it was tiny. It was very small, and it was the first one, and I just leaked. In front of everyone. And no one noticed. Because I didn't tell anyone, but I leaked out the um, leg guard. So I excused myself to the bathroom with my blue bag that had some changes and some uh, emergency supplies. And uh, I tried to uh, make the best of it. But so I, I took a wipe and I wiped like the edge. And I took these, and I tried to switch them up. So, like, the one that was on top, that was only, like, slightly wet here, I just, like, um, I switched them, and I tried to put the wet, for, like, up against the back, and then it was like, no, I am not uh, taking that chance again. So I decided to lay them both out flat. Um, to try to make it any safer, and, uh, I took a baby, um, diaper, uh, stuffer thing that I brought with me, and I put it on top, but obviously I had to make holes, and I realized I didn't bring any scissors, <laughs> so... I was just trying to like rip it up and like using my teeth and um it was it was weird it was funny but eventually I made it work and I managed to put it back on and I was really happy about the fact that it was um they have the hook and loop fastening style so the tapes aren't sticky they're more like velcro <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring my bag too. I'm very not prepared for this. Excuse the boobage. Right, this is my bag. And, um... Stuff in it. There it is. Oops. This happened. I pulled it off. It was the top tape on the right side. And it just came off. Yeah. And then I realized I did not just forget to bring scissors. I also forgot to bring tape. So I had no tape to try to secure it. So I had to try to uh, put it just up against and then just pull the pants over and pray that this would hold it together. And then obviously I'm incontinent, so I can't really completely control it, but I tried my best to not wet 
to make it all go, but that didn't work all the time. But yeah, <laughs> that happened. And it was almost completely dry, mind you that. Like, it was almost completely dry and unused and wasted. So, I just kept it like that uh, at the munch and then I drove some people home and then as soon as I got home, I, um, I took it off and I um, realized that the baby diaper had come apart on the side. So the inside of it was scattered around and on me. So I had to try to wipe away the inside stuffing off of myself and then like I just I threw this away and I took the stuffers and I threw them away and then there was just like a tiny patch that was sort of moist but not really so I decided that I wasn't gonna to throw it away, I was just going to sleep in it. So, I decided to put, like, I put it back on, and that time I used clear tape to tape it on so that it would not fall off. But, like, I went to bed, and it felt a little uncomfortable. Like, it wasn't even wet. It wasn't even moist, but it felt a little humid, like a tiny bit humid, and that was uncomfortable. So I decided to just disregard my previous thoughts and add a dry stuffer on top. And um, now obviously I couldn't re like untape it and put it back on again because I had already used clear tape to tape all around myself like two times and uh, so I had to try to like stuff it down the bottom <laughs> and then pull it out on top and I had to do that like stuff it in there and then try to pull it and try to like go inside and underneath and like pull that up and um, it took a bit of time, it was not easy, but I managed to make that happen. And then I had to like smooth it out so it wasn't like crumpled inside. And like make sure on the sides that it was inside of a le like a leg guard. And um, make sure that the leg guards were up and not like smushed down or something. But it was a lot more comfortable after that, because um, this is pretty soft, and it was really comfortable. Um, while um, the inside of the tight pools, it's, uh, it's quilted, and it's not as soft. It's kind of, like, hard. Like, the thickness here is less of, like, a fluffy and more of, like, a thin stick-ish. But adding the stuffer before I went to bed really helped. And, um, after that I had pretty much no issues. I did not leak in the night or anything. Um... I think I did lose a bit, like, uh, earlier today, but I was, we're, like, sitting on the mattress cover, and it, it was, it was fine, it was no major, there were no major issues, but I do think that I will not be buying more of the Tykables, um, because I did look through my pictures, the pictures on my phone, and, uh, I bought a sample pack from ABDO Factory, which meant that I got like 66 diapers, each of them a different type, 
and I got three Tiger Balls. I got Tiger Balls uh, Builder, uh, Waddler, and Overnight. And this is the third Tiger Balls that I tried, and two times a tap came off. Twice out of three. And, um,. I do love the fact that they have the velcro fastening tips so that you can like retry as many times as you need and readjust if it starts stabbing you in the thigh then you can just fix it but the tap just comes off it's um that really sucks I really like like pretty much everything other than that fact. Like, although the uh, inside did come apart, but no, it, like it wasn't that big of a deal. Like I would have definitely bought them, especially if they still had the overnights, um, because the the shop that I want to buy from only has the builder, like the uh, Tiger Blues little builders left. The um, the Waddler and the uh, Overnights are out of stock, but I would not say they're worth it, at least not for me. Maybe I'm just rough with them or something, but um, they, they don't suit my needs, they just they don't work for me. It's really really sucks, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. It was, uh, I, I, I never know how to end these, but thanks for watching, and, um, I will definitely be holding another munch. It was so much fun. But, anyway. Teddy Tiger says bye.